MJ is the stage name of Michael Jordan, one of the greatest stars in the history of the NBA. It also reminds us of Michael Jackson's iconic pop music and his signature moonwalk. Alternatively, MJ can refer to Mary Janes, the popular girlfriend of Peter Parker. However, today we are not discussing any of these MJs. Instead, let's talk about the new addition to Kevin Feige's universe. This MJ wears a red suit that allows for comfortable bleeding without the use of detergent. He also carries two katana blades on his back, with a pair of horns on his thigh and a few smaller knives. He never speaks, but his mouth is always moving. This is the Marvel Jesus, known as Deadpool. After correcting his mistake with the watch in part two, all of the mercenaries were now living a peaceful life. However, deep down, Deadpool always yearned for something bigger. This thought directly influenced the appearance of TBA, the time management agency. Furthermore, due to an event that I cannot reveal, I was forced to participate in a space rescue mission on the brink of collapse. This time, Deadpool's schemes pulled in Logan, one of the few heroes who had found a perfect ending for himself. The light was so bright and beautiful that Logan became excited and removed his costume in the comic, using his claws to destroy the money-making schemes of the corrupt organization. Perhaps if the audience enjoys it, Wolverine may not be allowed to return. Both of them are currently facing a chaotic time with a lack of business, direction, and a serious crisis for the quality of MCU. Their ultimate goal is to bring back the golden age of superheroes. The million dollar question is whether they can achieve this or not. Will these two indestructible characters be able to reignite the enthusiasm of the audience, which is exactly what Endgame is desperately trying to do. Before we dive in, let's imagine the most unexpected couple from Marvel appearing before you. But instead of their usual form, they are standing in front of you with their chests and backs facing outwards. The collection of menswear, a brand that holds the image rights for the film Deadpool and Wolverine, is hotter than a freshly made chimichanga. This is easily understandable, as their appearance is no different from their legendary movie counterparts. Experience the excitement and positive energy within you with Icon Denim's first time team up. Whether you want to dress up like a ninja or watch a movie five times this week, our collection is the perfect choice. Simply log in to the link below and use the code FEEFE15 to receive a 15% discount on your purchase. Visit the link below for more details. As a devoted Marvel fan, I have high expectations for the future of the universe that I both love and hate. Therefore, I am ashamed to admit that I have wasted a lot of time watching Mortal Kombat-style comics. However, it is important to remember that this genre played a significant role in Phase 5. Despite the excessive violence, the dynamic action sequences featuring characters like Deadpool and Wolverine were truly impressive. Let's go all in. He breaks the four-blade sword, stabbing it into the gaps and pulling it out, then stabbing it into another gap and saying something humorous. There are bullets flying everywhere, the evil king's words echoing and the sound of sirens filling the air. It's hard to believe that one day, Kevin Feige will let go of the sword and Deadpool's sharp wit to give them the freedom to act. It seems like the MCU is truly dead. Some people say that this movie also features Wolverine, who is known for his violent tendencies. It's a funny, entertaining duo that never fails to make the audience laugh. In fact, the characters of Deadpool and Wolverine are heavily influenced by the real-life actors, Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman. The love and camaraderie between them on screen is just as genuine off screen. There are some lines that immediately reveal Ryan's talk about his friend Hugh. The two of them have eagerly awaited the opportunity to share the stage for a long time. And when that chance finally arrives, their excitement is palpable, especially for Deadpool. He eagerly follows Wolverine like a fan, and their natural chemistry as actors creates moments of both laughter and tears. Even with a mask on, the audience can recognize Deadpool's signature dance. And despite not needing to shake his butt, 
the whole world knows he is a werewolf. The chemistry between the two actors, represented by their red and yellow costumes, allows them to fully embody their characters. In fact, their understanding of their roles accounts for 80% of the success of the film. The humor is also organic, and personally, I wish there were more of it. However, it's difficult to fault the filmmakers for needing to include more of Wolverine, when Deadpool alone was enough to carry the film. Marvel still uses breaking the fourth wall to directly address the audience, but their recent research has limited this technique to the main timeline. This approach may seem less subtle, as it focuses on old works and the lack of recent time adjustments, but it also allows for the company to address any negative stories or issues with their previous works. This use of self-awareness is reminiscent of the scene in Wreck-It Ralph, when Disney poked fun at their famous princesses from different eras. It's a clever tactic, as it avoids any sensitive topics such as love or politics, while still staying true to the essence of the company. By taking a light-hearted approach and including all of these characters for some entertainment, even if it's not an Avengers film, it shows that the MCU is more passionate when they have a hero like this. However, this may present a challenge for viewers, as it requires prior knowledge not only of the MCU universe, but also all of the movies featuring Wolverine and his team. X-Men Villains, a review. If you haven't seen the latest X-Men movie, there's a chance that some of the jokes won't resonate with you. Speaking of villains, it seems that the ambition to bring back the X-Men franchise from the hands of President Kevin is no longer a secret. Therefore, I would like to give a slight spoiler that there will be numerous characters appearing in the film. However, the audience no longer seems as enthusiastic about these new additions. Characters like the Beast in the Marvels, Thanos' brother in Eternals, Black Widow, and Hedgewin in Thor Love and Thunder are not given enough screen time and quickly fade into obscurity. This is because they are too relaxed in the film and only serve the purpose of attracting the attention of loyal fans. In contrast, the director has done an excellent job of incorporating cameos that have a direct impact on the story. Moving away from the usual formula, I believe this should become the new standard for Marvel when introducing new members. How did the team achieve this feat? As we are all aware, Deadpool marks the official inclusion of 20th Century Fox in Disney. In the trailer, we can also see the logo of the brand in the space between the void, representing the discarded and forgotten characters and movies of time. The scriptwriters cleverly utilized this space as a nod to the fact that Fox's heroes were now stuck in limbo after the company's acquisition. The void can be seen as a place where film companies dispose of old characters and movies that are never to be seen again. But what about the heroes, the cultural icons of their time? Will they be able to complete their journey in a vibrant way, or will they be forgotten by the audience? Deadpool and Wolverine are too iconic to be ignored, so they will likely be included in the main timeline as TBA or Marvel characters. But what about the others? Many heroes have suffered from poor translations and may not have the same impact on audiences. Will they be able to make a connection, or will everything be overshadowed by the merger of Fox and Disney? This is a clever way to express the issue, and I actually prefer the cameo to the main actor. But let's discuss Professor X's sister at a later time. It's easy to see how this idea came about. Fox carefully planned their jokes and logos before including them in the film, not just for entertainment purposes. And Kevin is also incredibly talented in demonstrating that only Marvel has the strength to revive all the forgotten comic characters. Thanks to Fox's contributions, there is a promising new horizon for these heroes, a name that both companies hold dear. If future cameos maintain the same quality, the cycle of survival will surely heat up once again. That should be enough to prove the point. The love for Deadpool and Wolverine, right? It's a shame that it didn't take down any of the beloved characters from the past, but it did open the door to the next season. However, this time, the film showed a level of care and dedication that we haven't seen in a long time. So, is it a perfect film? Of course not. There's no such thing as a perfect film because it has to carry not just one, but two heroes. Deadpool's story can be easily confused. And the truth is, not all comedies have a complex plot. That's right, Deadpool in 2016 was a symbol of the superhero genre. And a year later, it's even better. But in reality, both Deadpool and Wolverine are fully developed characters, making it impossible for the new story to surpass the huge screen. Wolverine 2024 is a middle-aged horror game, but it is not as profound as Logan's death. Deadpool, on the other hand, maintains its family-friendly tone, a characteristic it has maintained for a long time. The ending remains emotional, delivering a powerful message about friendship, forgiveness, and memories of the past. It is clear that Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman are fully committed to their roles. However, the love story between Wade and Vanessa seems to have been completely forgotten. 
the villain, while strong and handsome, fails to make a lasting impression. I particularly enjoyed Professor X's character in the first half of the film, but his actions in the latter half felt forced, as if they were only included to create obstacles for the main character. Furthermore, the meaning behind the name Paradox in TVA is as confusing as the name itself. All in all, I believe Deadpool and Wolverine have a solid script. The director has a clear understanding of their strengths. My weakness is that I spent all of my time on the journey between the two undead heroes, focusing on filling the holes and creating a satisfying ending. So, if you don't enjoy the other elements, it won't greatly impact your experience. However, the most annoying thing for me while watching the movie was not the script, but the background. It's unclear when this trend started, but it seems that Marvel has completely neglected the details in the background, resulting in a dark and unrealistic scene. As you can see, the streets and undead shops in this scene look very fake and lack props on the stage. This issue may have begun with Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, where the world of the undead was not given enough attention, to the point where it is obvious that the actors are standing in front of a green screen. This concern is also supported by the new trailer for Captain America 4. The release date is also the same. Take a look at this scene. Does it seem like a video advertising the function of erasing a mobile phone? These may seem like small details, but the world building is an essential part of a movie universe. If a massive project like Deadpool can still have such mistakes, what will happen to smaller and less expensive series? The answers to these questions may become apparent in the future. Regardless, Marvel fans can now breathe a sigh of relief as the company's bad days have officially ended, at least for now. Deadpool and Wolverine is a real blast, a film that combines all the elements of an entertaining summer blockbuster tamed violence, witty comedy, and two characters who have already proven their popularity. Marvel has also made a wise move by acknowledging the success of 20th Century Fox's X-Men franchise. There, the main road leads to a bridge that welcomes guests to the new house. This reminds me of Marvel's old days, a studio that not only produces good movies, but also captures a lot of affection for their dedication to the heroes and unruly cultural symbols. That concludes this review. Book your tickets now because Deadpool and Wolverine are worth the wait. But remember not to watch with your parents as the language used by these two characters can be quite explicit. Goodbye and happy viewing.